Vertical piercing is a popular way to add interest to a border or around an image. But when it comes to large areas or going around the entire perimeter of a card, paper piercing can be a long process. By using your sewing machine, you can create perfectly spaced tiny holes in a matter of minutes. What I've done here is I've stamped the Happiness is Having a Friend Like You stamp from the Spring Mix stamp set on a piece of white cardstock and then I've bordered it behind with a piece of our bubblegum pink cardstock leaving a quarter of an inch on either side. Now the next step is to take a sewing machine and I'm using my Janome So Mini sewing machine and some of you have bigger sewing machines any kind of sewing machine is just fine and I've removed the thread from the top of the machine and from the bobbin of the machine. I've just taken the bobbin completely out. You don't need it. And I am setting up my presser foot so that the seam between the white piece of cardstock and the pink piece of cardstock is dead center in the center of my presser foot, just like this photo. I've set my machine on a zigzag stitch, and for those of you who have the Janome So Mini, I'm using Stitch G. And now I'm just going to sew a zigzag stitch right down in a straight line across that piece of cardstock. As you can see, that made a very, very pretty little pierced border right across the top of the white and the other part of the zigzag stitch made a complementary border right across the top of the pink. As you can see here on my finished card, I used the stitched circle border to create a nice frame for the focal image. And that faux stitched border really sets off the paper pierced border down at the bottom and the top of my greeting. Some sewing machines have fancy stitches, so try those for a whole different look. By using your sewing machine for paper piercing, you can create long straight lines, go around curves, and add small accents in just a matter of minutes.